ਵਿਦਿਆਰਥੀਓ ਤੁਹਾਡਾ ਅੱਜ ਦੀ ਕਲਾਸ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਵਾਗਤ ਹੈ ਸਾਡੀ ਅੱਜ ਦੀ ਕਲਾਸ ਦਾ ਵਿਸ਼ਾ ਡੀ ਬ੍ਰੋਗਲੀ ਇਕੁਏਸ਼ਨ ਐਂਡ ਹਾਈਜ਼ਨਬਰਗ ਅਨਸਰਟੇਨਟੀ ਪ੍ਰਿੰਸੀਪਲ ਹੈ ਪਰ ਪਾਠ ਨੂੰ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਕਰਨ ਤੋਂ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਅੱਜ ਦੇ ਵਿਸ਼ੇ ਦੇ ਲਰਨਿੰਗ ਆਬਜੈਕਟਿਵਸ ਨੂੰ ਜਾਣ ਲਈਏ ਅਪਾਨ ਕੰਪਲੀਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਥਿਸ ਟੌਪਿਕ ਲਰਨਰਸ ਵਿਲ ਬੀ ਏਬਲ ਟੂ ਡਰਾਈਵ ਡੀ ਬ੍ਰੋਗਲੀ ਇਕੁਏਸ਼ਨ ਡਿਫਾਈਨ ਹਾਈਜ਼ਨਬਰਗ ਅਨਸਰਟੇਨਟੀ ਪ੍ਰਿੰਸੀਪਲ ਸੋਲਵ ਨਿਊਮੈਰੀਕਲ ਪ੍ਰੋਬਲਮਸ ਇਨ ਬੋਹਸ ਮਾਡਲ ਆਫ ਐਨ ਐਟਮ ਇਟ ਵਾਸ ਬਿਲੀਵਡ ਥੈਟ ਇਲੈਕਟ੍ਰੋਨਸ ਮੂਵ ਇਨ ਸਟੇਸ਼ਨਰੀ ਆਰਬਿਟਸ ਬਟ ਵੇਵ ਨੇਚਰ ਆਫ ਐਨ ਇਲੈਕਟ੍ਰੋਨ ਵਾਸ ਨਾਟ ਕੰਸਿਡਰਡ electromagnetic wave theory interprets wave nature of radiations like x rays and light planck's quantum theory explains particle nature of electromagnetic radiation in 1905 einstein explained light has both wave and particle nature in 1924 Louis D Broglie had given a hypothesis for material particles this is known as D Broglie equation according to it the dual nature may not be confined to radiations only but it should also be extended to matter as well as a result wave mechanical theory of matter came into existence as per wave mechanical theory electrons protons or atoms in motion possess wave like properties and have wavelength amplitude and frequency as well and particle like characteristics that is it has definite mass charge energy and momentum students the new quantum mechanics or wave mechanics takes into account the particulate and wave nature of matter and it covers or take into consideration two concepts de broglie concept of dual nature of matter heisenberg uncertainty principle de broglie equation de broglie equation te vichar shuru karan to pehla eh zaruri hai ki assi planck's quantum theory ate einstein theory of relativity nu dohra laiye planck's quantum theory max planck in 1900 put forward a theory known as planck's quantum theory it regards electromagnetic radiations are made up of particles this was further extended by einstein in 1905 the main points of this theory are the radiant energy is emitted or absorbed discontinuously in the form of small energy packets called quanta in case of light these energy packets are known as photons the energy of each quantum is directly proportional to the frequency of the radiation e is equal to h nu h is also called planck's constant h is equal to 6.6 multiplied by 10 raised to the power minus 34 kg meter square per second it is a physical constant named after max planck he was one of the founders of quantum theory the planck constant is the proportionality constant between energy e of a photon and the frequency of its associated electromagnetic wave nu This relation between the energy and frequency is called the Planck relation or the Planck Einstein equation. The total amount of energy emitted or absorbed by a body is some whole number or integral multiple of quantum. E is equal to nh nu. Here n is an integer. Its value may be 1 2 3 etc einstein theory of relativity einstein theory of relativity refers specifically to two theories of albert einstein special relativity and 
general relativity. In 1905, it was introduced by Albert Einstein's in a paper named as On the Electrodynamics of Moving Bodies. The term Theory of Relativity was coined by Max Planck in 1908 to emphasize how special relativity and general relativity uses the principle of relativity. In physics, mass energy equivalence is the concept that the mass of a body is a measure of its energy content. What we generally call the mass of a body is always equal to the total energy inside and transmutable. Mathematically, it is written as E is equal to mc square, where E is equal to energy, m is equal to relative mass and c is equal to the speed of light in a vacuum which is 299,792,458 that is 2.9 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 8 meters per second. Let us discuss about de Broglie equation. In 1905, Einstein suggested that light has dual nature that is wave nature as well as particle nature. Louis de Broglie, a French physicist in 1924 advanced a new idea by stating that all moving material particles, microscopic as well as macroscopic, have dual nature that is wave and particle nature. The wave associated with matter is known as matter wave. He correlated the two characters in the form of an equation known as de Broglie equation. Lambda is equal to h upon mv. Lambda denotes the wave nature of moving material object while mv momentum represents its particle nature. Now we will derive d Broglie equation for photon of light with the help of Planck's quantum theory and Einstein equation. As per Planck's quantum theory, the energy of the photon is given by E equal to h nu, where h is equal to Planck's constant, nu is equal to frequency of radiation, E is equal to energy associated with the photon. As per Einstein mass energy relationship, mass of the photon slowly changes into energy when light falls on it. Energy is given by E is equal to mc square, where E is equal to energy associated with a photon, m is equal to mass of a photon, c is equal to velocity of radiation. By equation 1 and 2, we get E is equal to h nu, which is again equal to mc square. mc square is equal to h nu, but nu is equal to c upon lambda and thus substituting it in the above equation, we get mc square is equal to h into c upon lambda. On cancelling c on both sides, we get mc is equal to h upon lambda or lambda is equal to h upon mc. c is the velocity of light if v is the velocity of moving material object. Then the relationship may be given as lambda is equal to h upon mv. Here mv is equal to p the momentum of the particle. Here h is the Planck's constant. Finally, we get lambda is equal to h upon p. This equation is called de Broglie equation. This equation shows that lambda is inversely proportional to p or wave and particle nature of the moving material objects are inversely proportional to each other. The wavelength of the particle in motion is inversely proportional to momentum. Planck's constant h acts as the constant of proportionality. 
Students, the wavelength associated with the moving material particle is known as de Broglie wavelength. Is de Broglie equation applicable in all cases? That is in microscopic particles as well as in macroscopic particles? Let us try to know for macroscopic particles. Let us take a stone having mass m is equal to 200 grams moving with a velocity of 1000 centimeters per second. The de Broglie equation gives lambda is equal to h upon mv. On placing their values we get lambda is equal to 6.63 multiplied by 10 raised to the power minus 34 kilogram meter square second inverse upon 200 multiplied by 10 raised to the power minus 3 kilogram multiplied by 10 meter per second. This one solution gives lambda is equal to 3.315 multiplied by 10 raised to the power minus 34 meters. This is too small value. This wavelength is shorter than any electromagnetic radiation and cannot be measured by any known method. Therefore, it is difficult to grasp the idea of waves associated with the moving ball. In simple words, we don't observe any wave nature associated with macroscopic body. Therefore, de Broglie relationship has no significance in daily life. For microscopic particles, the wavelength of an electron with mass 9.11 multiplied by 10 raised to the power minus 31 kilograms and moving with a velocity of 10 raised to the power 6 meter per second is calculated as shown. Lambda is equal to h upon mv. On placing their values we get lambda is equal to 6.63 multiplied by 10 raised to the power minus 34 kilogram meter square second inverse upon 9.11 multiplied by 10 raised to the power minus 31 kilogram multiplied by 10 raised to the power 6 meter second inverse. This one solution gives wavelength lambda equal to lambda is equal to 7.28 multiplied by 10 raised to the power minus 10 meter. The wavelength associated with this moving electron is of the same order of magnitude as of x-rays which can be easily measured. Electron de wave character nu. Electron diffraction prayog rahi samjaya ja sakda hai. Davison ate Germer ne unni so satai vich electron de wave character nu electron diffraction prayog rahi darsaya. Is animation vich electron diffraction prayog darsaya ja raha hai. A tazarba a si movable detector galvanometer. Nickel crystal High tension battery Electron gun Cylinder with hole Ate tungsten filament coated with barium oxide nal karange A beam of electron emitted from heated tungsten filament is allowed to fall on the surface of nickel crystal and the scattered or reflected rays are received on a photographic plate. A diffraction pattern similar to that produced by X-rays is obtained. This confirms the wave character of electron. This animation shows the particle character of the electron. Let us look at a beam of electrons and a zinc sulfide screen.
when electron strikes at a zinc sulfide screen a spot of light known as scintillation is produced since a scintillation is localized on the zinc sulfide screen therefore the striking electron which produces it is localized and is not spread out on screen hence electron has a particle character students we can calculate the de broglie wavelength of the electron from the potential applied to accelerate it when the electrons were subjected to a strong electric field having potential difference v to accelerate their speed what happens if accelerated potential that is capital v is applied to an electron beam the energy acquired by an electron e is equal to charge on the electron small e in coulombs multiplied by potential applied v in volts thus e is equal to e v this energy becomes the kinetic energy of the electron kinetic energy is equal to half mv square electrostatic field of strength is equal to v into e which is again equal to kinetic energy acquired by electrons electrons emerge out with the uniform velocity and are denoted by v potential difference is equal to potential v in volts electrostatic field of strength is equal to potential v in volts multiplied by charge on electrons e in coulombs which is again equal to kinetic energy acquired by electrons we can write v into e is equal to half mv square velocity v is equal to under root value of 2 ve upon m let us substitute the value of velocity v in the de broglie equation as shown here we get equation shown here as h is the planck's constant m is the mass of the electron e is the charge of the electron all these are the constant values by substituting these constant values in this equation we find lambda the wavelength of the electron is inversely proportional to the under root value of potential applied thus by knowing the potential applied wavelength of the electron can be calculated uncertainty principle in 1927 hasenberg pointed out that we can never measure simultaneously the exact momentum and the exact position of the microscopic particles which are as small as electron This principle given by him is known as Heisenberg uncertainty principle. It states that it is impossible to measure simultaneously both the position and momentum of a microscopic particle with absolute accuracy or certainty. The principle may also be stated as the product of uncertainty in position and uncertainty in momentum of a microscopic particle is always constant and is equal to or greater than h upon 4 pi then we can write as delta x multiplied by delta p is greater than or equal to h upon 4 pi uncertainty in measuring position is denoted by delta x and uncertainty in measuring momentum is denoted by delta p if value of delta x is small value of delta p will be large if the position of the microscopic particle is known with high degree of accuracy as delta x is small 
then the momentum or velocity of the particle will be uncertain as value of delta p will be large. If value of delta x is large, value of delta p will be small. If the position of a particle will be uncertain as the delta x is large, then the momentum or velocity of the particle will be known with high degree of accuracy as value of delta p will be small. Since delta p is equal to m delta v, delta x multiplied by m, delta v is greater than or equal to h upon 4 pi or delta x multiplied by delta v is greater than or equal to h upon 4 pi m. How an object is visible to us? What happens when a beam of suitable wavelength falls on an object? Let us try to know. Light is made up of quanta called photons. When a beam of suitable light falls on an object, the photons of this incident light are reflected by an object. As a result, the reflected light enters into our eyes. The object becomes visible to us. What is the impact of size of an object in this uncertainty phenomenon? Students, let us discuss the uncertainty principle on microscopic and macroscopic particles. The striking photon does not affect the position and velocity of the moving large objects. That's why this principle has no impact on our daily life. But electrons verge microscopic objects they ke switch ki hunda hai. The striking photon affects the position and velocity of the microscopic objects. Microscopic objects apne normal path to displace ho jande hain. Finally, both the position and momentum associated with microscopic object can't be simultaneously known with accuracy. Principle of optics de mutabak kise particle the location the accuracy varti gai light the wavelength te depend kar di hai. Uncertainty in position nu shown symbol plus minus lambda naal dasaya janda hai. Jinni light the wavelength cut hoegi, unni hi particle the position the accuracy zyada hoegi. Par shorter wavelength the matlab hoega, high frequency and high energy of the striking photons. Is the false roop, electrons apne normal path to khisak jande han, ate ona the speed ate direction badal jandi hai. Thus, this high energy photon on striking the electron changes its speed as well as its direction. In other words, we can say that the photon of smaller wavelength has higher momentum. As lambda is equal to h upon p. Jado is light de ek single photon nu, ek electron di momentum ate position nu observe karan lai vartya janda hai, ta a large amount of momentum is transferred to the electron at the time of collision. This changes the velocity as well as its momentum. This will result in greater uncertainty in the velocity of the electron. If we use photons of light having larger wavelength, the velocity or momentum will not change appreciably. But there will be greater uncertainty in measuring the position of the object. Then we will not be able to measure position of an object accurately. As a result, uncertainty in the position increases. So, students, we can say that it is not possible to measure simultaneously both the position and momentum of small microscopic objects. Implications It rules out the well-defined circular orbits as proposed by Bohr. For a 
microscopic object like electron position and velocity at any moment cannot be determined accurately. In other words, Bohr concept of fixed circular path with definite position and momentum of the electron have been replaced by stating that the electron has the probability of having a given position and momentum. This forms the basis of quantum and wave mechanical model of atom. Vidyarthiyo, ao ho numerical di sahayata na isnu samjhiye. Calculate the Broglie wavelength of an electron having mass 9.1 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 31 kilogram moving at 1% speed of light. Value of H is equal to 6.63 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 34 kilogram meter square per second. Solution As we know that lambda is equal to h upon mv. Given m is equal to 9.1 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 31 kilograms. h is equal to 6.63 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 34 kilogram meter square per second. V is equal to 1 percentage speed of light which is equal to 1 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 10 to the power 8 upon 100 meter per second. It is equal to 3 multiplied by 10 to the power 6 meter per second. Placing their values, we get lambda is equal to 6.63 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 34 kilograms meter square per second upon 9.1 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 31 kilograms multiplied by 3 multiplied by 10 to the power 6 meter per second. On solving this we get lambda is equal to 2.42 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 10 meter. Next numerical is Calculate the uncertainty in the position of an electron if the uncertainty in its velocity is 5.7 multiplied by 10 to the power 5 meter per second. Value of h is equal to 6.63 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 34 joule second and mass of electron is equal to 9.1 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 31 kilograms. Solution According to Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, delta x multiplied by delta p is greater than or equal to h upon 4 pi or Delta x multiplied by m delta v is greater than or equal to h upon 4 pi or delta x is greater than or equal to h upon 4 pi multiplied by m delta v. Given h is equal to 6.63 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 34 joule second. Mass of electron is equal to 9.1 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 31 kilograms. Uncertainty in its velocity is equal to 
5.7 multiplied by 10 to the power 5 meter per second. Delta X is equal to 6.63 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 34 kilogram meter square per second upon 4 multiplied by 3.142 multiplied by 9.1 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 31 kilograms multiplied by 5.7 multiplied by 10 to the power 5 meter per second. On solving this we get delta x is equal to 1.012 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 10 meter. Recapitulation Students, today we have discussed about derivation of D Broglie equation, Heisenberg uncertainty principle, solve numerical problems. Questionnaire Students, it is time to check your knowledge. Let us try to answer some questions based on this topic. Distinguish between a photon and quantum. Answer. A quantum is a bundle of energy of a definite magnitude. E is equal to H nu and it may be from any source. However, a photon is quantum of energy associated with light only. My next question is, can a moving cricket ball have a wave character? The answer is, according to D. Broglie equation, lambda is equal to h upon mv. The mass of cricket ball is sufficiently large. Therefore, its wavelength will be very short and it will not be possible to measure the same. Thus, a moving cricket ball cannot have wave character. My next question is, write D Broglie equation. And the answer to this question is, lambda is equal to h upon mv. And the other one, what is the relation between momentum and wavelength as per D Broglie equation? The answer is, momentum. P is inversely proportional to wavelength. The other question is, recall Heisenberg uncertainty principle. The answer is, it states that it is impossible to measure simultaneously both the position and the momentum of a microscopic particle with absolute accuracy or certainty. Let us suppose a particle's uncertainty in position is denoted by delta x and uncertainty in momentum is denoted by delta p. Then we write as delta x multiplied by delta p is greater than or equal to h upon 4 pi. Bacho, manu umeed hai ki tuanu aaj da e part kaafi interesting lagya hoega. Thank you for your attention and see you next time.